All right, Abby, you ready for your first wig? I'm ready. Yee! This is exciting. So we're gonna do this wig from Corey J's Boutique. The hair is also from us as well. Let's get into it, we got a braid. What's up guys, this is Corey J from Corey J's Boutique and today I'm coming to you all with a wig install on a white girl. Yes, we're gonna have some fun, so continue watching so we can get right into it. So the first thing you're gonna see me doing is braiding her hair. Um, someone cut her hair too short and that is the reason why she wanted this wig. So as you guys can see, I kind of parted her hair into two sections. I'm braiding the front of it down um, and putting rubber bands on it and then I'm taking the back and I'm gonna braid that as well before I put the cap on So just keep in mind that I did do a two-part braid method as you can see in the back right now It's not braided, but by the time her cap is put on it will be braided in the back. Okay So notice the color of the cap that we're using Definitely 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 use the lightest cap that you can find on a Caucasian woman so that it can resemble her scalp and look very 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 natural Okay, so this is a step that you don't want to miss So everything from this point is pretty much standard We're gonna do the bald cap method as usual using the gossipy glue spray We're gonna let that harden and dry take it off and apply the lace as I usually would on any other woman So this is another important step. Just make sure that you use um, the person's foundation so that it can match their scalp as much as it possibly can. If I would have used my um, own foundation, it would not look like this. This wig looks very, very, very flawless on her right now thanks to her foundation and that bald cap method. So make sure you guys definitely use their own foundation for that. So in this step, I'm gonna do it just how I usually do, cutting the frontal into three parts so that I can kind of apply it in three parts, just to make sure that when I am applying the lace that everything is becoming glued. Um, when you try to apply the glue um, across the head at one time, for me personally, that doesn't work. If it works for you, awesome, but this is what works for me. So just make sure you guys cut the lace in three parts and then apply the glue also in those three parts. I usually start with the middle and then I go from from one side to the other until everything is glued and intact just like I like it. So as you can see, after I apply the glue, I ask my client to help me hold it in place while I blow dry it completely dry just to make sure we don't have any lifting afterwards and that her uh, install is flawless and looks as much like scalp as we can absolutely make it. Also keep in mind while you're watching that I did use multiple layers of glue. I'm only showing you guys one because it gets repetitive, but I did use three layers of glue every time I applied it.
So after um, making sure the glue was dry and everything was in place, I went ahead and cut off the lace. I hope you guys can see that I'm not cutting her hair straight across, that I'm like twisting and twirling my scissors so that everything can look natural, not straight across at all. Because this is a Caucasian woman, I felt it was very, very, very important for her hair to be melted like to the gods, because if not, it would look very wiggy and we just did not want that. So just pay attention how I'm twisting my scissors and not going straight across. And then even afterwards, I'm going back in with some glue and making sure the very edges of that lace is completely down for a very, very, very flawless look. The last thing that I do before the baby hairs, no matter who you are, what color you are, what size or race you may be, the hot comb, my best friend. I always, always take the hot comb and smooth that hair down so it can look as natural as possible. Now this satin wrap is from Corey J's Boutique. Of course, you can shop CoreyJsBoutique.com for the wig or the satin wrap, but it is a holy grail for me to keep the edges down. So as you guys can see, I'm wand curling her hair really fast. Um, just, it's not about the wand curls, it's about melting this lace, okay? So if you want your melted lace to look like this, make sure you purchase a satin wrap from CoreyJsBoutique.com and also a wig from CoreyJsBoutique.com. Let's get into the edges. So as you guys can see, I'm doing her edges pretty normal. If you want a more detailed baby hair tutorial, I do have one on my page. You can look at it there, but I'm kind of going through it fast just because I've showed this a lot, a lot of times. I'm using my same method on her as I would anyone else to make sure that her baby hairs are flawless and her hair looks like scalp. So here are the finished results of the baby hairs, the melted frontal, and almost the curls. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Just make sure that you guys subscribe and shop CoreyJsBoutique.com. Follow us on social media at CoreyJsBoutique. That's Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.